So I'm at the beach this week on family vacation, but I've been running most every day. Um, and I think I've learned a few things about running at the beach that I think anybody going on vacation to the beach should know before they go run. So let's go run. So I'm out at Holden Beach. I've been coming to Holden since I was like a little kid. Love this beach. I think it's like seven miles from one end to the other. I've ran it one time, either a headwind or a tailwind. You pick your poison. Here is your first little tip, piece of advice, whatever you want to call it. Because it's flat, I would recommend that you warm up quite a bit longer. Walk, stretch a little bit more, do whatever you do in your normal warm-up routine, just do it a little longer. There's no relief at the beach. As much as you may say you hate the heels, there's nothing worse than no relief, and that's the beach. It's just flat, constant. There's a rhythm that you get into and your muscles just tighten up, your shoulders, your arms, just things that you would think, cause it's flat, it's easier. It's not always the case. So what I'd recommend is just stretching, doing your walking routine, extended stretches, whatever it is, a little bit longer. Once you get into that rhythm of running, you won't want to stop. So just a little tip. So you're at the beach and you want some heel training. There ain't no heels at the beach. Now, we'd have a bridge there and I have ran it, but it's not the safest. So if you want any like heel training, what do you do? You head to the high sand. This week, I did two and a half miles uh, in the deep sand. It was miserable, like terrible, but what you do is you swing your arms, you get moving, and you just run. You may not be able to run long, but you just run. Here's some tips to running in the, the deep sand. Tie your shoes tight and get high socks. Light feet, don't dig your feet in. Just stay on the top of the sand, quick feet movements. Ah, now this is probably the most important tip. Whatever direction you start to run in your distance, most of the time it's gonna be an out and back. You're gonna run one direction and turn around. I recommend start to run with the direction the wind is blowing. So, if the direction of the wind is blowing this way, you run this way. If the wind is blowing that way, you start running that way. You can see those flags. Those flags are going that way and I'm going that way. And my God, I'm about to burst into flames. And there's no sun out. Running with the wind is like running on a treadmill. Stagnant air, air is stale, it doesn't move. You overheat very quickly, you fatigue very quickly. It's miserable. But the great part is, your halfway point, you turn around, like I did just now, 
and now I am running against the wind. And you may think running against the wind is miserable, but let me tell you, when it is hot, running against the wind is amazing. You're cool. Like currently at this moment, all the sweat that was pouring down my body is cooling me off. If you're running in the direction the wind is and you're overheated, just stop for a second and turn around. Oh, it's amazing. So, this is an extremely important tip. Run with the wind to start and run against the wind to finish. It'll be a much more enjoyable run. And unless you're in some type of hurricane force wind, then in that case, make sure you document it. I want to see it. Now I'm going to head back. Oh, and like that, done. A little six mile at the beach. Definitely was able to push the pace on the way back because of the headwind. It's just it's a little gift that keeps giving. So I hope these three little tips helped. Uh, most importantly, if you're gonna run at the beach, just go have fun. I mean, she's, it's the freaking beach. Just relax. Enjoy it, take in the sights. Go run at the edge of the water. Just enjoy life. So, until later, adios. Oh, you want a bonus tip? Here's your bonus tip. Go run. And make sure you get a house with an outdoor shower. It's amazing. <laughs>